going to talk about wild crafting books, uh, herbal medicine books, and, and things related to plants. And um, I will say right off the bat that there is no one perfect book out there. I have looked and I've bought almost every book on the market and I'm not going to show you all of those today. I'm just going to cover some of my favorite ones. And um, you know, probably the, the best book to start as a beginning wild crafter would definitely have to be Botany in a Day by Thomas L. Pell. I can't say enough good things about this book. Thomas is an absolute genius for putting this book out. It, uh, it teaches you how to identify the plants according to family. And when you know how to identify according to family, you don't have to know every individual species within that family in order to know some of its uses. You know, for instance, the mint family, all of them have square stems, uh, opposite leaves, trumpet-shaped flowers, and most mints have very similar uses and there's also no poisonous mints or none that will really get you in trouble and um, you know once you know that simple skill right there uh, you know anytime you see those plants and there's very few look-alikes to mints there are some plants out there with uh, square stems and opposite leaves but uh, the mint is a very defining plant family so just knowing that one basic skill set and then on the flip side of that you have plants like the parsley family and there are many plants within the parsley family that are incredibly deadly uh, such as poison hemlock, water hemlock, there are other plants out there that uh, can cause uh, photosynthodermatitis which essentially just is almost like a chemical burn and can cause uh, massive you know purple whelps on you, things of that nature and so you don't necessarily have to know every species of the parsley family to know that there are a lot of dangerous ones out there and that you should probably stay away from them unless you you know are, are really skilled at identifying those those types of plants and botany in a day lays that out uh, lays out you know kind of all the major plant families their identifying characteristics and you know I highly recommend that when learning to wild craft and, and procure wild foods that you uh, learn your poisonous plants first and then you get into your plant families and then start doing identifying uh, you know characteristics of your, your wild edible plants so the next book that I'm going to cover is you know kind of some basic field guides and having field guides is very important the uh, Peterson's Field Guides to Edible Wild Plants and Medicinal Wild Plants is a great resource. They'll cover you know several hundred or more in, in each book and some of them are color photos and then others are drawings and it also teaches you how to prepare them as well as identify them. Probably the best mushroom book out there would have to be uh, Mushrooms Demystified by David Aurora and it is a gigantic manual of mushrooms and I, I will say guys mushrooms is probably the most deadliest thing that you can get into or skill set and if you do not know what you're doing leave them alone I do not teach students uh, mushroom identification because there are so many poisonous lookalikes out there and you know with certain mushrooms there you only get one screw up and that's it um, you know there's not that many herbaceous plants out there that can kill you deader than a doornail and, and make you die miserably but there are a ton of mushrooms out there that can just absolutely wreck your liver um, and can kill you slowly and terribly and there are very little overall um, caloric value to mushrooms so you know it kind of reduces the overall need for uh, you know any kind of survival situation you know mushrooms are great to know just make sure that you absolutely know what you do what you're doing and he's got a couple of books out uh, this is the big field manual and then he's got another smaller book uh, that is also available um, Steve Brill has a great book on identifying and harvesting edible and medicinal plants he's probably uh, one of the more famous guys out there as far as plants are concerned. Another very uh, big name in the industry who I actually just took a class with down in Florida is uh, Dean or they call him Green Dean and he's got the you know how to eat your weeds or eat weeds 
uh, website. Uh, great resource, guys, just full of information. So I highly recommend uh, checking out Green Dean stuff on the web. And these books are primarily for harvesting and using the actual plants. They're not, they are field guides, but for a very limited amount of plants. Harvesting Nature's Bounty by Kevin Duffy is a great book, as well as Edible Wild Plants, Wild Foods from Dirt to Plate by John Kalis, and uh, he really gets in depth. This is probably one of the better books I've seen out there on identification and preparation of very common uh, tasty wild edibles. Then another one is Edible Wild Plants. This is the top 200 natural uh, foods. And it's written uh, by Elias and Dykeman. Oh, that's actually not correct. I'll post that to uh, the picture above. The uh, Medicinal Wild Plants Guide by Bradford Angier. Uh, good book. Gets you know a little bit in depth about you know kind of the Indian uses of different medicinal plants. But just remember, if if you do get out there and practice. Uh, medicinal herbs and plants that you are aware of what you are doing you know medicine is making medicine is far more dangerous than just going out there and procuring uh, wild foods to just consume uh, when you're making medicine you, you're concentrating the you know active components of that plant and you know that can get you in trouble you know so we always tell people learn learn your poisonous plants first your families then learn your, your edible plants, and then learn uh, medicinal uses because, you know, th those things can, the medicines can get you in trouble. Let's see. And then everyone must have a local uh, plant identification guide, and, and we're here in Arkansas and Missouri, and so I've got several books. I've got Wildflowers of Arkansas and uh, tree shrubs and vines of Arkansas and, and a few others and these books are needed because you want to have a guide for everything that, that grows within your state or your area and they're not going to teach you the uses of, of the plants but they will show you how to identify them, what's available and then you can use other guides in order to um, you know how to prepare them and, and what to do with them. And then probably the best medicinal book out there, in my opinion, uh, called The Herbal Medic, written by Sam Kaufman. Um, he actually instructs with us here and, and does the Herbal Medic program. And this is essentially a written version of what he teaches here at our courses. And uh, this year we're running the Herbal Medic, which is a five-day class, and next year uh, we're starting a new program called the Herbal Wilderness First Responder, which will include all the components of our Herbal Medic as well as, um, you know, the things that are done in a Wilderness First Responder course. Um, great class. I can't wait to do it with Sam. And one step up from his book, this is kind of the encyclopedia of herbalism and the one that Sam Kaufman recommends the most would be the Energetics of Western Herbs. And this is a very advanced manual on the usage of herbs and, you know, what you can do with them. So um, check these out if you really want to get in depth with these skills and, um, you know, definitely get out in the field and get some dirt time guys learn these plants and learn what you can do with them and uh, as always we appreciate your support share like and subscribe and uh, make sure you share these these videos on forums with other people so that we can spread this tribal knowledge thanks and have a great day